and there are several types of machine learning algorithms, but the, the concepts are, are similar. Imagine that we have a model which looks like a, a black box in the in the middle of of the right hand chart. When we put into data into the black box, uh, it produces output. If the model is trained and really well, the output accuracy will be really high, so the model will be very useful. The, the problem is it's not very easy to get a good model. So this usually relies on how much the model can capture the relationship between the input and the output. And we can train the models with historical data. And to understand how, how to train a machine learning model, we need to know the model's behavior and prediction outcome is controlled by parameters. Different models will have uh, different types of parameters, but the concepts uh, is very similar. We try to find the base parameters which can produce the highest accuracy. And we start the training process by, assign, by assigning a model a, a new parameter value. And we fed this model the input, and we can compare the generated output with the correct output to calculate the accuracy of this model. Then we move on to the next model. When we fi finish all the models, we can pick the model with the best accuracy. So this is basically how we train a, mod a machine learning model with historical data. It's, it's similar to uh, to exam. We already have the answers, and we give each, each model an exam paper, and we pick the model which has the highest score. So I will uh, also talk about uh, two important machine learning algorithms. The first one is artificial neural network, which is uh, the, the most widely used algorithms. The concept of neural network was created in the late 90s as a model of how neurons work in human brain. However, the, the computers did not have enough processing power to effectively handle the work to to estimate uh, large neural networks. So things get, got changed after the big propagation algorithm was developed in, in the 70s. This algorithm enabled the uh, practical training of multi-layer networks. A neural network usually contains se several layers, including hidden uh, input, hidden, and output layers. And the neurons in, in the input layer, which is represented by a node, is a tuning program. It uh, represents the original output. And there is one neuron in the, usually, usually there is one neuron in the output layer representing the, uh, the outcome of the model. So uh, if there are more than one hidden layer, then this, model, this neural network can be considered, can, considered as a deeper learning model which will take much more computing resource to train. And there are also other types of neural networks specializing for different purposes. purposes. For example, a uh, recursive neural network is mainly used in text-to-speech technology, and the convention, conventional neural network is designed to handle image and video recognition. And another important machine learning algorithm is support vector machine, which is relatively young and simple. Support vector machines are, uh, were, were introduced in the 90s and had become popular because of the success in the recognition of handwritten digit. The idea of support vector machine is to find a hyperplane which can best divide a data set into two classes. And the distance be between the hyperplane and the needs data point is a margin. The goal is to choose a hyperplane with the greatest possible margin between the hyperplane and the any other points. So the data, basically the idea is to make to map the data to higher and higher dimension until a good in, a, a hyperplane which is good enough can be found. So in the uh, in a uh, in a in a chart to to uh, to the uh, our right hand side, we can see we can see uh, green and red dots, 
if on the two dimensional plane we we can find a line to separate them on the original plane but if we map the, the the dust to a higher dimension then we can find a hyperplane to separate the green dust to, from the red red ones so to summarize we can see a different machine learning algorithm will uh, may have different mechanisms but the concept is quite similar we basically can train model with historical data and machine learning models can learn from data and without uh, input from human experts. Uh, 